Who's the pervert between the two, in addition to being the corporate raider? How does a robot lose consciousness? I suppose he could have been damaged enough to where he went offline, but consciousness is just an odd thing to attach to Mega Man, who's very clearly at this point not really conscious of anything other than his orders to go blow shit up. Ah, uh, yes, we're back to the alpine scenery of the previous Mega Man. Although in this case, there isn't any kind of big animated shot of Mega Man himself. It's just the regular character walking through a grassy field. And you get to see the profiles of the Mega Man 1 bosses, including the best of them, Cut Man. The only racially diverse robot in the game. You know they chose that very deliberately. And then of course Proto Man. Now why they chose the Mega Man 1 bosses, I don't know. You don't even see those fuckers in this game. And then after that you're treated to a shot of Proto Man in the sky, which is kind of creepy with him watching you like that. And if you look carefully, I never noticed this before, Dr. Wily's little UFO is flying around. And there you have Mega Man 3. I I can't help but feel extremely nonplussed in retrospect. I think I was taken away with some of the robot designs, like Gemini Man, who I thought was so awesome. And some of the flashiness of the levels. Shadow Man's level, for instance, is quite cool looking. But it doesn't fit his character at all. It fits some kind of fire-based enemy. So, the cover art was more suitable than the previous two games. Certain elements of the art in general were good. The music, on occasion, was good. But it failed for me on so many other levels. The level design, the usefulness of various weapons. And for the love of God, who thought it was a, a good design decision to have Mega Man's eyes track the enemies? I know that kind of seems cool on paper graphically, especially on the Nintendo, but when you combine it with the look on his face, it looks like a dude who's seriously surrounded and about to get gangbanged. And he's kind of looking around like, oh god, which one's gonna stick it in me first? So in conclusion, Mega Man 2 is definitely all around the better Mega Man. In my opinion.